Hi folks, this is Susan DeBay Jewelry, and I want to demonstrate how I put in a, a rounded head pin, using it as a rivet, riveting it to the other side, and without flattening the head right here. So many times it, it flattens out. So I've, I've um, got a way in which I want to uh, show you and which you don't it won't flatten so what you do is you have to drill a hole in here which I will do I'll demonstrate the whole process in just a minute but I want to explain it first you drill a hole here and before you do that you use this little device here and what that does is it puts a little divot into the material so that when you take it to your drill, it, the drill is not going to skid across the surface of the metal here. So then once you get your hole put in, you're going to cut it. I've, I've um, made this little tool and I'll demonstrate that in a minute. But first I want to take you over to the drill press and we'll put, put the hole in and then we'll take it from there. Okay, we are now at the drill press, and where that little divot was, right there, I'm going to put the drill bit right where that divot is, and drill that hole. Turn on the drill press. Okay, and there you have your hole. Okay. Okay, from there, you put the rivet, or the head pin, into the front of your material, like that. And you want to put this little tool over the top of it. See the holes in, the, in the, this tool? Depending upon what size gauge your material is, you want to find that corresponding hole, put that in there, okay? Then, with your flush cutters, right there, you want to cut that, save that scrap for later, and you see there's a little tiny bit of material sticking out of that and what you do with that little material that's the the part that you use to hammer over and connect the two pieces so uh, at this point the little head right there goes into one of these divots okay okay now it's hooked into there and you can kind of try to move your piece to make sure it's connected and since it is try to get my fingers out of the way you take your chasing hammer the small end of it and you just hammer a little bit try to hammer all around it There it is. See? That's the back side. And there's the front. See? Nice and round. Okay? Little a little tip for you. But I also wanted to show you a piece of jewelry that I made using this process. I made this about a week ago. And I I love rivets and I've always wanted to use them in my jewelry but um, didn't really quite know how to get that head pin to where it would stay round. But um, I, got it, I got it done, and here's a piece of jewelry that I made with this process. You see on the, on the bail here, I've used it, and then scattered around the piece. Do you see that? It just kind of makes your jewelry more dynamic. Always put my 
um, initials on there it's for Susan DeBay Jewelry, S T J. So anyway, this is a piece I just made. It's uh, sterling silver with the lavender uh, zirconium in there with the Swarovski crystal and with the rivets. So I hope you like it. I hope you can use this in your jewelry making and that the, the tip was really great. All right. Remember, it's Susan DeBay Jewelry. You can click on the subscribe bu button and also click on the bell next to the subscribe button. And then next time I, I do a video, you'll be notified. Okay? All right. Thank you. God bless.